Welcome back to Dan Desi Level Up. Yeah, and today we're gonna make some homemade sofrito. You ready? So first thing first, what we're gonna do is rinse off everything. I like to rinse everything off. So let's get the rinsing. That's first, guys. Make sure you clean all your vegetables and your fruits off. Clean them off with that fresh running water. It's a must. All right. I like to get a good rinse in. Now, guys, today my onions don't look the best, so I'm gonna cut them and see how they look. And uh, if it look good, I use it. If it don't, I just use whatever the good parts from from it. All right. I have this uh, green pepper that don't look the best either, so I saved that one for last just in case I need it. I don't think I'm going to use it. I just have it just to back up. It was one of my leftover green peppers, so I might as well try to get rid of it. You know? Damn, that's it. Level one. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then let's rinse off the uh, cilantro. Get rid of the bad pieces. Let's get the rinsing up the cilantro, guys. A quick rinse. Quick rinse with the cilantro, guys. Let's get it. Quick rinse, quick rinse, quick rinse. I was going to do it before the video, but I'd like to show you guys in real time what's going on. So you rinse them all. I kind of like to keep them separated because we had to cut the stems off. So I try to like to keep them separated enough just to cut the stems off a little bit. That's my kids, guys. I'm doing a video, baby. Okay. Yeah, guys, that's my, that's my daughter. Yeah, guys, I'm just resting the cilantro off now. That's my son. Wait, baby, you gotta wait. No, 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 yo. Yo. What are you doing? Do you not see me doing a video? Sorry, guys, that's my son. He's just touching stuff. Sorry guys for yelling, but he almost knocked my whole camera over. Alright, so that's the onions off. Sorry for yelling guys. I just told him I'm doing a video. He just grabbed my whole camera. All right, let's go. Not on. I can't. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, then I can. Tell it. Go for it. Go for it. All right. Hot go for it. All right, guys. So now. So now. What I will do first is just cut the stems off the cilantro just to get that ready, ready, ready. Daddy, isn't this just bread? Yes. Can I eat it right now? Mm. Huh? Why would you want to do it? Because I don't want to 
Get another one. I know this one. Okay, hey guys. What I'm gonna do is just cut the ends off. You don't have to cut too much off, guys. Just cut the ends off. Not too much. Just cut it off. See? You don't have to cut too much, guys. Just cut the ends off. You just cut the bottom off. Put the ends What I did was cut the ends off, guys. The bottom of the stem. Throw that away. Do la basura. If you speak Spanish. If you speak Spanish, the stuff you do it in Spanish. All right. So that's the sofrito. I mean, that's the cilantro. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the green peppers. All you have to do is cut the, the top off. Ready? See? Cut the top off. Now what I like to do is, some people just pull it out. I don't really like to touch it. So I just cut like the, the little uh, piece right here, like the main piece that holds it together. Cut that in there. Turn it. Put that in there. See how it pop, it pop right off? See? Wait! Turn on a little way. Look at the kid. Yeah. Yeah. See? Cut the extras off. When you're watching it, guys, you can fast forward the video if you want, but, you know, just showing you guys how to do it done. Get all the seeds out, guys. Probably faster if I would have pulled it with my hands. But I don't really like touching it. I just like to <laughs> use the knife. I like to use the knife to get it right. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. it. Alright. See? Uh, now, after you get that like that, all you have to do, guys, is cut it. Simple. See? How to do now is cut it. I think you just... Let's just cut it like this. Like that. It don't have to be too small, guys. We don't have to do too many small pieces because we're going to blend it. We're going to throw it in the blender. So it don't have to be super small. Alright. I'm going to get rid of this. Dispose that. And all the seeds. 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 Seeds.
That's it. You don't have to chop it up too many, too many times. That's enough. That's good enough to blend it. I think all I'm right. going to do it all into the pack. Okay, guys. So I cut up all the green peppers. Now let's get to the onions. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, the onions are not the best. So I'm gonna see how they look. Let's go. Actually, look good. See? Yeah, not bad. See? Look good, guys. Throw that extra skin on. Extra layer. Let's get the cutting. I ain't gonna make your eyes burn. I should have did these last, but Chopping them, chopping them, chopping them. They don't gotta be too small, guys, because like I said, it's going into the blender. But I just want to make it easy as possible to blend. So I can get the best results. Okay guys, since the onion look good, I only need one onion. So you need I use so far I use three green peppers, a batch of one batch of cilantro, and one onion. And now I'm gonna do use about five garlic cloves. Okay guys, so now I'm about to chop up the garlic cloves. I have about about seven but three big ones. So normally I would use about five big ones, but I have some little ones. So what I like to do is chop up the edges first. To get rid of the edges. And then I get the chopping. It don't gotta be perfect guys. Like I said, it's going into the blender. Damn, Desi, level what? Damn. I'm just taking the skin off, guys. And then you just slice it. Chop it in pieces. Like I said, it don't have to be really tiny. Because it's going into the blender. And it will blend it at the end. Cut the edges off. And 
chop it up. Don't have to be like super tiny or perfect, guys. Just chop it up. Okay guys, so I have the garlic chopped up. The onions. The green pepper. Now the only thing we have to do is chop up the so uh cilantro. We don't have to do it like a lot. Just dice it a little bit. So what I like to do is just I got all of this cooking from my wife, guys. Everything I learned how to cook is from my wife, so don't think I'm just making it up. <laughs> so yeah, she's Puerto Rican. So look. Yeah, just dice it up. They don't got to be perfect. So this is a, um, a Spanish um, ingredient you add to like your meats, your rice, they add it to certain things, you know. Yeah, that's it. Now what I would do is now, guys, see how this cut up? Not, not too. Not, that's enough. Now what I'm gonna do is now rinse out my blender thing. All right. So what I'm gonna do is now is let's add some so so cilantro. We're just going to fill it up, guys. Add some cilantro. Some green peppers. Just keep doing this until it's all filled. Some onions. Some garlic. Just keep doing it until it's filled up, guys. Some, some, some cilantro, some green peppers, some onions and garlic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this and I'll come back and blend the rest. Let's go. Move this stuff out of the way. I already have my blender hooked up. The blender already hooked up. You put this on there. Oh, you can't see it, so let me lift the camera up a little bit. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna stuff it on there. <coughs> Let it blend. 
you don't know with that well, I'm gonna take it off and shake it. Yeah, turn it upside down. So I'm gonna stop it. Shake it a little bit, let it mix up. Do it again. Sofrito. See? Homemade sofrito, guys. So I'm going to pour it into the bowl. Let's the bowl out first. I'm going to pour it into the bowl to do the same thing over and over until it's all done. Let's see how it looks in the bowl. Put the water up in there. Let's smell it. Mm, that smells so good, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Well, let's pour it in. We're going to do the same thing again. Now let's go. Let's add the rest of the uh, cilantro, peppers, onions, garlic. Keep doing the same thing over and over until it's all done, guys. Okay, guys, so I have it all in. Let's put the cap back on it. the cap back on it I'm gonna do the same thing again guys Take it off and smell it. The best thing about sofrito is the smell, guys. When you make this and somebody's coming over, they're gonna say, mm, you don't even you don't even have to be cooking anything. You can put the pot on, throw some frito, throw some sofrito in there, and they're gonna be like, What are you cooking? You gonna like, sofrito. They're gonna say, Oh man. Let's smell it. Mm-mm-mm. They put it all together, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Get all of it out as much as you can. It smells so good. And uh, guys, that's it. That's how you make homemade sofrito. So simple, right? Simple, easy, and fun. And it tastes so good, smells so good. And guess what, guys? It's very healthy because we have onions, we have cilantro, garlic, and we have 
green peppers. It's very healthy. You throw it. You could put this in your, in your meats. Well, like more like for your, like your ground beef or your ground turkey. We we eat ground turkey. We don't eat ground beef. So we put it in our ground turkey, or you could put it in your um your yellow rice, not your white rice. Your yellow rice. Um, it's a couple of things you can put it in, guys. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Then does he level up? Yeah, homemade so freaked though.